Um, so what, um, what I thought we'd do today is uh, just discuss a couple of cases, just cases amongst friends. We spoke about communication, Kirthi and Nova, and this is one of the, uh, I think, opportunities to sit down and see how um, individually we would approach certain cases and how we would manage them and what suggestions that we could put forward. Now, I'm, I do not propose to show the treatment. The first case I have treated, the second case I have not. Um, so it's not the process of how the patient is treated. It's the thinking process that goes with it and, um, and how we analyze, uh, you know, obviously it's not comprehensive information, but the information we, we provide you. So with that, I shall start with our first case. So the first patient is a 27-year-old patient who was referred to me uh, because of a failing upper left central incisor. And you can see, obviously, there's an issue with her, her lip line. Ah, thank you very much. I can see it now. And six years prior to her coming to see me, she uh, fell over when ice skating and traumatized her front teeth. The tooth was subsequently endodontically treated, and then it, cr it was crowned when it discolored. Um, and uh, then things went along quite well until the, in the previous six months before seeing me, the crown had dislodged twice. So there was obviously a problem with retention of the crown, and from a restorative point of view, the prosthodontist who referred the patient to me deemed the tooth to be no longer restorable, and we were looking at a solution. Um, so if you look at a case like this where you've got pristine teeth on, on either side, would it be fair to say that we would be probably looking at an implant-based solution as the primary or the first line treatment for a replacement of this tooth? Hey, mind if I, because we need to agree that an implant's going to be the solution. 